Okay, so today I'm out here fishing for panfish. Perch, yellow perch that is. Pumpkin seed, bluegill, rock bass, to name a few. Those are the fish I'm after. Um, they're going in here if uh, there's any size to them. Look, there's a fish right there. What was that? Other fish we could find down here are smallmouth bass and walleye. Beautiful day. Really beautiful. A little bit of wind is actually good for this because this is not deep water and this lake has, this water is very clear. So a little bit of wind helps reduce, you know, the visibility of the boat and um, probably activates the fish a little bit. Good conditions. All right, I'm gonna fish using um, a drop shot rig as well as a jig. The two rods are both six foot six, light power, fast action. 2,000 size reels. I'm gonna look at the map a bit. I know that there's an area here, there's a big flat, see that blue right there? Dark blue, and then we get the light blue. That's where there's a bit of a drop off and it goes into a little bit deeper water. Right now we're in nine feet. Uh, I think it goes to more like 10, 20, yeah, 15 to 20, 10, 15, kind of the range in that light blue area. That's uh, more likely where I think we're gonna find the fish. So let's get out there. All right, there I'm seeing a couple fish for the first time. We're in 15 feet right now. So we're getting into like a little bit more of a fishy, fishy zone now. There's one. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop and start dropping stuff down. We got worms with us. That's the bait today. Red worms and night crawlers. I'm gonna start with the red worm. I'm gonna do a 3 16 ounce drop shot weight. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of fish. Is that fit? Yeah, that's fish. All right, cool. All right, fishing the drop shot rig. That's a number six mosquito hook right there. And that's a 3 16 ounce weight. This hook's tied on using a Palomar knot. You leave a long tag end and you can clip or tie. These are the clip style, but you can also tie a weight down to the end. You drop this down. Once this hits the bottom, this 10 inches or so here will be the, the distance uh, by which the my bait is gonna be suspended off the bottom, which is generally the strike zone for these fish. They're mostly bottom bottom fish. So it's a good way to fish for them. And we're in business. So yeah, there is a bit of a wind. So I'm dealing with a little bit of a drift. So what I'm gonna do is drop this in the direction that I'm drifting. Get it down there. We're gonna just drift past it. Be able to fish it for probably, you know, 10 seconds or so before I gotta reel it up and make another drop. Somebody's nipping at it. Got one. What's this? What is this fish? Perch. Say goodnight, Perch. There's a bite. He's got it, he's messing with it. Got him. This is a bigger fish than the last one, I think. Oh yeah, another Perch. Comparable size. perch. Yep, getting a nibble already. Nope. 
Nope. There's a hit. Just a hit. Didn't want to eat it. Odd. There's a hit again, better one. Got him. Another perch. Let's see if I can get my worm back. Give me my worm back, perch. All right. All right, 13 feet, drifted back down. No more bites. So it seems like back out a little bit further. 19 feet or so. 15 feet minimum. It's been where I would get bites. Let's get this perch. Don't stab me, perch. I know you like to stab me. Another perch in the cooler. We got another perch. Not a big fish, but I want to make sure I get enough for dinner. I'm close to it. Yeah, he's eight. That's like the bare minimum size that I would keep. Anything smaller, I mean, that's almost not worth it. Anything smaller than that is totally not worth it. But I just want to make sure I round out this meal. There's a bite. Got one. Feels like a decent one. No, it is not. Uh, you felt kind of heavy, little guy. You felt kind of heavy, dude. All right, little yellow perch. He's out of here. All right, well, I'm gonna go start another drift. All I got on that one was a little tiny baby perch. Kind of cool house. You get a little like boat garage thing there. That wraparound deck is cool. Look at that like crow's nest bedroom probably up there. I'd like to live there. Keep them pretty small ones at this point, just because I want to make sure there's enough to make a dinner. Oh, that one was 
playing with it for a while. Thought I was gonna get it for sure. Perch, man. They're good at good at stealing your bait. There's only two tiny little worms left in here. Oh no, there's one more. He's perch food now. first for me. All right, everybody, I'm in the water. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just, ah, I just fell in the lake. Well, that was exciting. Woo. Let me get out into a little bit deeper water here so I can float for a while without being in danger of hitting the shore. And I'm gonna change my clothes. change of outfit here <laughs> um, I suppose I should kind of use this as a little I don't, know, I don't know if you want to call it a teaching moment or whatever but I just fell in uh, in about I don't know 15 feet of water or so maybe 20 feet doesn't matter it's deep enough that I can't touch the bottom but anyway I keep on board with me a dry bag this is a dry bag right? so Put whatever you want in there. I got stuff in there, hats, socks. I had a change of clothes. I had a fleece vest, extra pair of shorts, um, shirts. You put everything in there and the way it works is all you need to do is get a little air in there and uh, you're just gonna fold this thing until it kind of puffs up, right? It makes a seal like that all my wet clothing that I just took off and that way if you fall in the most important one of the most important things if it's not warm outside which is not warm right now it's not freezing cold either obviously I'm wearing shorts but it's not warm enough that you want to be wearing sopping wet clothing um, I started shivering pretty bad there for a minute till I got those all that wet stuff off all right and another thing is if you're in this is that one that has like no worms in there one worm. Uh, if the water temp is below 55 degrees, and if the combined water and air temperature is less than 110, even 120 to be extra safe, you should be wearing a dry suit if you're on a kayak. Because it's not impossible that you're gonna fall off. It just happened to me. So, granted, if I was in cold water, you know, and I was trying, I probably wouldn't have stood up like that. I probably wouldn't have fallen, but you could fall. You could fall off, so. Wear your dry suit. All right, I'm gonna try to calm down from that, the episode that just happened and get back to fishing. We only got five perch in there, all right? Need about two or three more. All right, so it looks like I had the camera off, but I just got, unfortunately I had the camera off, but I just got a pretty nice one. That one's probably about 12 inches. So, get him in there with the other ones. And I've, I've moved a little bit. I'm a little farther, a little farther up the lake. And I'm a little closer to the shore. So instead of being on the flats, kind of, now I'm in where it's a little bit deeper and I'm on the a ledge. I'm just gonna drift down this ledge. And in about two minutes of doing that, 
I ended up getting that nice big perch. So problem is, if you can see, I'm drifting pretty fast. It's pushing me, like the wind's pushing me straight into the houses. It's a little bit more difficult to manage, but that's okay if it yields fish and bigger ones at that. Here's a hit, a little bite, nibble. Fish. Feels like another good one. Definitely does. Feels like a real good one. Sick. All right, so I may have found where the bigger ones are hanging out. This guy definitely rounds out dinner. That is a big perch, dude. <laughs> That's a big one. I'm just gonna bonk him right away because I'm keeping him. Get the hook out of there. All right. Almost 13, 12 and a half. <laughs> These fish kind of go crazy for a while after they're dead. That fish, I bonked him on the head and cut his gills and bled him. And he's still flopping around like crazy. Minutes later. What is that? Is that a perch? This is big. I don't know if this is a perch. If it is, it's a really big one. I don't think it is. That's not a perch, is it? Let me get my net for this. Ooh, this could be something good. This could be a walleye. I think it is. I think it's a walleye. Yes. Come here, walleye. Yeah, hell yeah. Bonus. Bonus! Nice! Alright. So we just got a bonus fish here. Let me get some better light on him. That's a walleye. Good size one too. measure and get him in the cooler that's awesome that makes me super happy these guys taste pretty similar to perch they're just a lot bigger they're delicious and that's a good one right there 20 inches 20 inch walleye bonus all right All right, let's get back over there. I found the spot, man. I found it. Got my three biggest fish of the day, all right in a row. Boom, boom, boom. What do we got? 110. I can fish for about 15 minutes before I gotta pack it in. All right, here we go. Let's get it back down there. I am jazzed up, man. That walleye's got me all excited.
bite. Missed it. Damn it. I felt like something good too. Ah man, I just missed a good bite. Ooh, he's back on it. He's on it. Whoa, it's something big again. I think it's another walleye. I think it's another walleye. It's not a perch. That is not a perch. Ooh. Don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, whoa! <laughs> it's a big ass pumpkin seed. Look at that thing, man. He's a girthy little guy. That's a huge pumpkin seed. Oh man, did I lose my flyers? No, here they are. <laughs> All right, cool, that's it. That's gonna be the last fish, I gotta go. It kind of stinks because I've like, I've found a really good zone right here. It took me all day to find it. But I gotta leave now. But at least I got some fish. Alright. See how, wait, how tall he is. Measure how tall he is. He's four and a half inches tall. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta pick Laurel up from school. So my fishing day is over now. Went out with a bang though. Alright. So headed back in. Um, only fish for about three hours, but it was a pretty eventful three hours. I caught a handful of perch pretty quickly when I first got here. Then I moved spots and found a great spot that held a lot, a lot of awesome fish. Um, I'm sure there were more, but I have to leave. Um, at that last spot, I caught two more perch that were big, two big perch that were both 12 plus inches. Um, so those were the best perch of the day. And then, um, and then I caught a 20 inch walleye, which is awesome. And then I caught a huge, huge bluegill. Um, so I'm going back with probably two or three fish fry dinners, um, which I'm super stoked about. I had a ton of fun. It's been beautiful out here. Oh, I also fell off of my kayak. Uh, I managed to get back in the kayak pretty quickly and I had a change of clothes so everything was okay and I could keep fishing um, which I'm glad I was able to because I got into the good stuff after that beautiful out here really lucky to have had this day uh, I'm glad I could share it thanks for watching see you again next time